Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the room. We're gonna pick things off where we left off last time. So I got this key here. I still don't know where it exactly it goes. I think it, I don't think it goes here, does it? No, that's what I thought. So now the second part of the piece, the oh wait, hold on a second. What do I spy? Nothing. It's locked. And this doesn't really looks like a oh no this there's copies of okay so we're back at the second part of the puzzle but there is a part two to this puzzle in which it's this is the part two now I need to figure out how I can open this wait wait a uh, number two number five oh right 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 I forgot a knob but it's not just a, any, any kind of knob there is a key sequence to this okay I guess I can't do anything because I'm missing a piece well okay then but there is a note here let me read the note where it says May 8th McAllister returns with the rubbings from Egypt the pattern continues the the Ty the Titans call the Noel element space. To the Hindus is the either, and now to the Babylonians is a simply up. The other direction, the realm of Ishtar, uh, of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glimpse. The same symbol repeated in a culture separated by the countless centuries and the span of the globe. Who will tell me? Now that this is the idol superstition at work. When my hands hold the first distilled sample, they will recognize me then. Presently, the septics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. Okay, so that symbol, it has a meaning to it. I'm not really 100% sure what it means yet. But it's some kind of uh, superstition. Something up with the uh, null. Okay, so back to this big old thing. I could have sworn I don't think this would go in okay it does go somewhere yeah okay so I can't do nothing yet because this piece somehow slides out but I don't think I can get to it yet not without the code first but first there's something up here that catches my eye Ah yes, I remember you. The little tilting board. Where I have to tilt the board until all those little spears match. We got the Vepo. And then Oh there we go. So there. So that opens up that and then ooh, here's a symbol. But it's not just a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper within a piece of paper within the magnifying table. Pretty nifty. So. How do you go? There we go. So yeah, that's simple. Now I can put the key into the slot. And now it should... Oh, I guess I can't do nothing yet till I get this taken care of first. It gives me another key, which that key opens up this little fancy chest here. Voila! And it gives me the Brass Star, which I think I need to go... Not up there. Somewhere else. I don't think this... Is this it? No. Not yet. Something else. Something important. I don't think it fits up here, does it? I guess it does. Okay. Ooh, another note. Okay. Take one good breathe in. And then begin. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. 
Fatigued by my studies, I entered a chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained conscious, I had succeeded. The no element is beyond curious, being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I opened the wine. But even though the no does sound like a one bad thing. Ah. Why can I not get you? Oh, because you're a piece of a knob. It's another part of the puzzle. That's what this is about. But this is what I'm after. The brass wing with the markings around the edge. In which now I can go back to the chest. And I can use this to finally crack the code open. <laughs> ah. So one, two, no, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and voila. And I saw the markings, there was two, two, five, yes. There, that gives me another key that should open right here. Let's get a big, good old look at this. So. Okay, it looks like another stick figure. But with the crooked left leg. That ain't it. It does match with this. That ain't it. Ah, yes. Here we go. Whoops. And a circular plate with the star emblem. Which that belongs to this part of the puzzle. Alrighty. What do you do? Alright, so the second part of the puzzle is done. Now I just gotta get through one more. Which the one more is this monstrosity. I have no idea what this thing is. Okay, let's back out of it real quick. Now, for this particular puzzle, I need some gears. But in order to get the gears, there's more puzzles. What a surprise. Okay, so those knobs are the ones I just saw. So, I have to find... The one knob is already set, but there's three more knobs I need to find. Which I saw the triangle shape one on this box. I need to go clockwise one time. There. And that should match up. Yes. And now I gotta find the other two. Which is right here. Surprisingly. Okay. And now one more. Where did I see you at? You're the one that is... Dang, that's not it. Where is the last knob? It's kind of very important to me. And I don't remember where I found it at. Right here. So I gotta go this direction. Oh, I missed it. Back up. There. And now I can open this chest to get my large cog and elastic band that's also for this cog too. So now I should be able to... And then, no, I can't do anything yet. So there, that gives me a screwdriver, which that screwdriver is what I need to unlock the panel on the next side of this treasure chest, and then it should reveal me the next part of the puzzle. Alright, can I back out of this real quick, please? I still need to find maybe two more gears. There's that. Whoops. And that. Thank you. 
And done. What are you? Ah. And this is the key I need. If you, if you, I don't know if you paid attention or not, but this box here has like a three-way annoying key. Starting with the T shape. Whoops. Up top. And... I think that's it. There we go. So there's another cog. But I need to find another cog. I think there were three I saw. Let me try. There we go. There we go. Ah, yes, another cog. Good. And that should... There we go. And I put the rubber band to this together. And that takes care of the last part of the puzzle for this big old box. It's not... It's not the final part. There is more to this I need to work with. There we go. Ah, yes, a long, narrow steel tube. Which is not just any tube. It's a little key, along with a note. An old photograph. It's hard to tell why exactly, but something is missing here. Ah, yes, it's a gem. Something I'm missing. I think I'm done with this box. Now, the key, I think this is the key I need to unlock this. Okay, maybe not. Oh no, this, this is the key I need. And voila. Oh boy. This mystery puzzle. Now, how did I solve you last time? There was something else I did. Something very important. Oh. There we go. Ah, uh, the knight's shield, which oddly enough, the knight, if you remember seeing, this particular knight, not this one, but this one, needs a shield, and it releases a gem, and that is the gem I need for this box, right here. Oh yes, I forgot. Now, this picture will reveal the time, 6.05. Now I just gotta set this to 6.05. Voila. And there, that's the end of that puzzle. So now the part two of the puzzle is finally complete. And now, we have this puzzle, which is something I kind of got myself stuck on. But now, I have a better knowledge and better understanding of this. So now, but the question is, where did I start? Ah. Uh-huh. July 15th. <coughs> Excuse me. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I am increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device to which to channel and focus it, but I am fearful to further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. So yeah, whoever this guy was, the null 
is somehow very powerful. Oh yes, in this little box. I remember playing you. I didn't like you. You were very difficult. But now, I think I remember how you go. Right like that. Alrighty. Are you the last piece? Whoa. There we go. Ah, yes, the key. An ordinary key, but not just a not, not just any ordinary key. It's a magical key. A key that will unlock all of my answers.